Hi, I'm Chris Roberts. Ever since I saw Star Wars as a wide-eyed eight-year-old, I dreamt of being a hotshot pilot saving the galaxy or a lovable rogue making my way across the cosmos. It inspired me to make Wing Commander and has influenced everything I've done since then. Ten years ago, after 20 years of making games, I was burned out so I took a break. But I never stopped playing games nor loving them. And now, I'm ready to come back and I'd like to show you something I've been working on. But I don't want to build any old game. I want to build a universe. I want to build a game I always wanted to build, but I didn't have the tools to do until now. One that you can fly off a carrier fighting a heroic war on the front lines, but also one that you can muster out and find your own fortune in the stars wherever your spaceship takes you. I want to be able to share this experience with my friends and fight against real opponents in space, not just AI. And I want this to be as good or better than any other game out there. And I want to actively push the boundaries of what you can do in a game. None of this would have been even possible two years ago. But with Moore's Law driving PC performance and cost and the gaming community embracing talented developers via crowdfunding, I believe it is possible today. I've never been accused of having a small vision. And so I thought it was best if I share my ambition with you visually. I'm pretty excited by how it's joined out. So why don't you come join me for a sneak peek? So I want to bring the space sim back. I want to bring the space sim back to the glory that it used to be in the 90s when I was making the Wing Commanders and when I was doing games like Privateer and Freelancer. But I want to utilize today's technology. I want to have the power of a cutting edge PC with a GPU that can push millions of polys, uh, connected to the broadband where you can play with uh, thousands or hundreds of thousands or even millions of other people around the world uh, in a sort of shared immersive experience. And now I think with Star Citizen I really can deliver that. We're going for something that's a little bit different than say a traditional MMO and obviously different than just a single player game. What we're calling is a shared persistent experience. It is actually a combination of the single player experience and the multiplayer experience. Every player in the Star Citizen game is in the same universe. We don't have different shards or worlds. And you have a life, you have a character, you have multiple characters, they have multiple ships. So you have a bigger goal. You're, you're basically going about making your name and fortune in the galaxy. So Squadron 42 is the single player experience in the Star Citizen game and world. And Star Citizen itself is the multiplayer persistent universe experience where uh, you'll venture around in a galaxy with hundreds, thousands, potentially millions of other players. They both kind of coexist in the same world. So Squadron 42 is a narrative single player story that will lead you into the open sandbox game that Star Citizen is. So the single player campaign in Squadron 42 unfolds very similar to the way Wing Commander did. So Wing Commander was set up in such a way that depending on how you performed the missions or how you interacted with your wingmen and pilots, it would determine uh, sort of how the story evolved. So your actions sort of affected the narrative of the story. We're doing that in Squadron 42 to a level of fidelity and detail more than we ever did in Wing Commander. So definitely your actions will evolve, affect and evolve how the story goes, as well as how your relationships with your co-pilots are uh, and other people aboard the carrier that you're based on. One of the things I'm most excited by uh, on Squadron 42, and one of the things that we're sort of adding to the lexicon of the Wing Commander experience, is that we're enabling cooperative multiplayer in the single player experience. So uh, as long as you're connected online, your friends, they in your friends list that are, you, know, you know in the community, you interact with on our, uh, on our website, they can drop in to your game if you want them to and play the roles of the wingman and the missions you're taking and help you achieve your goals and missions. But I just think it adds a whole new dynamic to um, the narrative in uh, a game like Squadron 42. So I think it will be a really cool feature. If you like Wing Commander, as a single player experience, uh, Squadron 42 is like the next generation of that. The ambition and the scope of Star Citizen makes it pretty unique in the fact that I think we're starting with 100 star systems and each star system can have multiple planets, each planet can have multiple landing locations and all of that sort of rendered and built in a, a completely sort of high fidelity first person viewpoint. So when we're down on the planet, we're running around in first person. We can go into the bar and we see other players or AI characters um, and we can talk and converse with them and get missions. We can walk out of there, go to the ship dealer and buy a new ship. And you can walk to the landing pad where your ship's sitting and get into it all in first person, sit down in the cockpit, take off, go out into space. So there's a level of sort of detail and fidelity that I don't think is currently out there in other space games, certainly right now. One of the great things about Star Citizen is there are a lot of different roles you can play in it. You can be a mercenary, you can be a bounty hunter, you can be a merchant trader, you can be a pirate. And we've designed and built a lot of different ships 
to sort of fill those roles in terms of, you know, this ship's good for dogfighting, this ship's good for hauling cargo. Also, we have a lot of equipment that you can buy or you can find or you can acquire or you can upgrade in the game that will allow you to customize your ship for the roles you want to play. I think that's one of the most exciting parts of the game is just that sort of free form and the amount of different things that you can do. And that's kind of what Star Citizen's about. And so I really felt I wanted to come back and make a game that pushed PC hardware in the way that Wing Commander used to do in the old days. Power of today's PCs are going to allow me to do a much more immersive experience than I could ever do back in the 90s when I was making Wing Commander. The level of detail and graphical fidelity will just allow more functionality, a lot more detail in terms of the ships. So we can simulate the systems and the physics in a way that we never could before because we just didn't have the processing power. So we're supporting um, Oculus Rift, which is this great VR headset. That's the sort of stuff that you just don't see happen uh, frequently sort of in the console world. PCs in my DNA, I think it's the most interesting platform because it's always evolving, it's always challenging you, and it's gonna allow us in three or four or five years time to do totally different things with uh, Star Citizen because you know the hardware will move along and we can, we can push it even further. If you love space sims, you love PCs, and you feel like this kind of game needs to happen more often, by backing now, you're helping it happen. But more importantly to that, if you've ever wondered how games are made, uh, what's happening by doing it now you're going to participate in that you're going to see it we have multiple updates um, you know on our dedicated site uh, the robertspaceindustries.com site uh, where we're describing what we're doing what we're doing this week how we built this ship how we built this character what our thinking is on this game mechanic or that game mechanic so it's a real sort of insiders behind the scenes uh, view of the game development process on top of that beyond all this stuff i've talked about uh, we're going to be releasing parts of the game, modules of the game along the way. We're going to release the hangar module that is in August of 2013, and that module will allow you to uh, walk around the ships that you've backed or pledged on the site, in the engine, see what they are, get inside them, check them out. Um, ultimately, we're gonna enable multiplayer where other players can come in and check out your hangar. Uh, you can customize your hangar this as well. You'll be able to customize your ships eventually. And then in December, we're gonna have the dogfighting module, which will be just standalone dogfighting in space. You can take the ships you have in your hangar and fight against other players, you know, sort of more traditional deathmatch, uh, you know, matchmaking. Uh, or against AI, and you can practice and hone your dogfighting skills and give us valuable feedback in the balancing of the ships and the weapons. We can see how many players in one area is fun. So if you want to be playing parts of the game, seeing how the game is developed, having your voice heard and having your feedback, then you should, you should join now rather than wait.